Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at the Nova 3D Fast Cure 2, but before we do that, a quick word from our sponsors and roll those credits. PCBWay are proud sponsors of the channel. They offer industry-leading 3D printing services covering all types of materials and processes. They also offer industry-leading online CNC machine services from milling, machining, and turning in all the materials you could possibly need. They also offer a fully online prototyping PCB service. Everything from assembly through to design, you can do it all online with an easy system to use for quality. So for all of your needs, check out PCB Way in the link in the video description. Right, welcome back. Now, um, so we were sent this by Nova. Um, curing stations. So, originally, what I used to use was a bucket lined with foil with UV lights wound around it. That's what I started with. I then moved over to an any cubic wash and cure station where you have to remove the, the large IPA bucket when you want to cure. I then migrated over to the frozen wash and cure station, which is two parts. I'm now on to this. Now, since I've had this, I've had this a couple of months now, I haven't used my frozen curing station. And I'll tell you why. So, with the frozen station, you've got a hood. You have to take the hood off to put stuff in, put it back on. If for some reason it, a part catches and it all starts knocking it off the build plate, hood comes off again, reset it all, hood back on. Where I have my curing stations now, I've actually got a shelf above it, which means moving that hood on and off is actually quite difficult unless I have it right at the very front of the desk where there's no space to do anything in front of it, which basically just kills space. With this, I don't have to worry because it's got a door, which means no problems, fits in perfect. Also, where a lot of curing stations are the plastic hood type, this, metal. I like metal, always seems more quality. Just seems better to me. You know it's not gonna crack. A lot of the hoods do crack over time. You knock them and you crack them and it's never gonna happen with this. Now, a couple of things I do like on this. And there's one thing I don't, but we'll get to that after. Inside here, you'll see it's all completely mirrored. We'll do some close-ups of this as I'm going, but it's all completely mirrored inside. The build plate, the build plate is glass. Thank you, thank the Lord. Because a lot of these curing stations, what they tend to use, they use a plastic one because they, they usually have mirrored surface or a, a UV light underneath. But they use these plastic build plates and then what they do is they perforate them with holes. Now, if a model you put in there has still got a bit of IPA on it or there's still a bit of IPA that's in one of the drain holes, as it's curing, that leaks out and it wedges into them holes. And it is a real, real problem trying to get them things clean once they are. I ended up resorting to wrapping them in cling film so that when it got dirty, I could just lift the cling film on and put a new piece on. But you only need to forget it that once and it's a problem. This is a, this is a glass build plate, like, like turntable on this. So if you do get something that leaks on there, super easy just to put a blade on this, clean it off, clean it with some IPA, bang, you've got crystal clear glass again. Like it's such a simple, why ain't other people doing that? 
okay, it may be a little bit more expensive than the plastic ones, but it's so much better. Now the curing inside here, this whole unit is completely mirrored inside. It's then got like light arrays either side. Because it's all completely mirrored, when it angles that light out, it bounces around 360 degrees, which means you get a 360 degree cure while, while everything is curing. Instead of say, some of the cures that have got a light bow up the back, like say the any cubic, with a plastic hood, it's curing whatever faces the light source. With a completely mirrored enclosure and multiple lights, you're curing at 360 degrees. So no matter what way it's facing, it's being cured. Which means, I think, you get a much quicker and better curing. Um, from what I've found from using this for the last couple of months, I've found it cures much better. So it's got a touch screen on the front of this. Now, the UI, really simple. Mine did come in Chinese, a standard, but it's very easy to work out what you've got to press to convert that language to English. I did it. Like, if I could do it, like anyone could do it. Like, I'm, I'm bad, bad. But it is easy to switch over. On now, you have got um, timings. You can do from one, three, five, and ten minutes. They're already set on there. They're just a button you can press and you can choose that. Or there is a custom button where you can choose how long you want to cure it for. Next, you've got, um, what do you call it? Temperature, light source. Let me just see what they call They call it um, energy options. So you can choose how intense you want the light, whether you want it low, medium, or high. Again, it's just a press of a button, you pick low, medium, or high. Very simple, very easy to use. And I've found that you're, it works perfect every time. I've not you know, found any problems with it. The actual machine um, size is 320 by 275 by 397. So it's quite compact, but what I, f what I think I have found is from, from testing this, I think the internal measurements of this are slightly bigger than both the Frozen and the Anycubic. I think it's slightly bigger. From what I've found, what I've been curing, I've found I can get bigger parts on that turning without catching the sides than I can on the other two. So I think this is slightly bigger inside. Um, so UV length, 405, standard. Um, the light source, it says it's light bar free. Um, I don't know if that's their own thing or whether that's a standard measurement. It's new to me. Um, so the net weight of this is about 12 and a half kilos. So it's not heavy, but it's also not light. Once this is in place on your desk, it's not going anywhere. So, price. Currently on Nova's uh, website, this is selling for 370 Great British Pounds. Right, we'll do a few close-ups of this now, so you can see what it's like both inside and on the UI. Now, sometimes you find you might have, I don't know, 12 mini Eiffel Towers that need curing. Don't ask me why I've got 12 mini Eiffel Towers that need curing. Just know that I have, and they need curing. So, let's get these in and see what they look like once cured. Right, as you can see, these Eiffel Towers, they're washed, but they're not cured. Fair bit of detail on these, you can see all the ironwork, all the girders on them. 
So let's get these in to cure. And there we go, that's the curing done. So let's just take the first one now. Let's get it to focus. And there we go. That is a cured Eiffel Tower. Cured really well, like, that was a five minute cure. There is no sign of resin, IPA, anything. It is bone dry and cured. Lovely. So as you can see, cures lovely. Cures really nice. And as I've said before, because it's a glass plate, you get anything on that, really easy to clean. Now we come on to the one bit I don't like about this. Um, and it's the noise. It's actually quite loud. So if I start this, you can hear that. So, as you can hear, fans on this are really quite loud, and so is the motor that turns the turntable. I say it's loud, so in in an area like this, where apart from what's this going at the moment, there's no noise. It's quiet in here. So it does sound loud. Granted, when I've had it here and I've been doing stuff on it, I've really noticed the noise it makes. But when it's in my workshop, at any one time in my workshop, I can have my wash station going, multiple printers going, an airbrush compressor going, a vortex mixer going, my computer going, um, as well as everything else that goes along with noise just outside. And So when it's in my workshop, I actually don't notice it that much. Um, but when it's somewhere like this, it's, it's quite apparent how loud it is. So it's relative, really. If you've got your setup somewhere that's quiet, you are going to notice this. If your setup's in a workshop with all the noises that go along with a working workshop, you can still hear it, but it's somewhat deadened by all the other noises that go along. So that is the only criticism I've got of this. Um, to me, the noise, no, it doesn't bother me. Because again, my workshop is a working workshop. I can hear it when it's going. I know it's going. Um, I know when it's finished. Not only because it beeps, but because, you know, I can hear that it's finished. But apart from that, the design of this, super sturdy. So, like along the, where the door is, the glass is, like the door is perspex. 
or acrylic, one of the two, but the hinge is all metal and it's mounted with a metal plate onto the door. Um, everything about this is, is sturdy because when you get something delivered, whether it's a curing station or a printer or something like that, and it's made of steel and not either aluminium or plastic, it it just feels better. It feels better made. So if it's feel if it feels better made, it feels better quality straight off the bat. And this does feel like quality, and it is a quality curing station. It print it, it cures really well. As I've said, I've been testing this for a couple of months now. Um, you'll see, you might have seen already. Um, we're doing a third games workshop, like Warlord Titan, Forge World Warlord Titan. I resin printed a lot of that time and it all went through this to cure every single piece. You'll see we've done other bits recently, um, biggish stuff. The pieces of all of them, everything I did in my workshop, all cured in this. I'd say for the best part of two months, I literally haven't used my frozen cure. It's actually under a desk at the moment because this suits my needs much better opening door no hood you'll see from the close-ups it's mirrored so much inside that you'll see when these eiffel towers were turning you can see dozens of eiffel towers because it's high, so highly mirrored in there if it's that highly mirrored you know that the uv light spectrum is being bounced around like mad you're curing every part of this every second it's in there because for every second it's being hit by light instead of just passing past an array of lights along the back. So, have you got one of these? Are you getting one of these? What wash sta or cure station do you currently use? I would love to see this made bigger. If Nova wanted to make this bigger, I would spend my money on this. Because if this was this size, I would buy it. So Nova, make a bigger one. I want one, okay? But don't forget to like and subscribe. Loads of videos coming up. Loads we've put out recently. Give us a comment, give us a like, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.